My name's Colton Leach. I'm looking after these fellas' best interests. Who is Colton Leach? The Western hooligan, the bouncer, the bodybuilder, and the gangster. They terrorized London with his friends Tony Tucker and Pat Tate. He was a star in the famous movie Rise of the Foot Soldier, born March 12, 1959. Colton Leach grew up as the son of two workers in the different areas of London. His father worked as an electrician, while his mother later worked as a bank teller. At 13, his family settled in East End, where he attended grammar school. He wanted to be a pro soccer player. At the age of 16, he co-founded the hooligan organization, the Intercity Firm, who was then became one of his prominent members. West Ham was my life. I love the ICF. I will get drunk and fight for my life to honor West Ham. Football is first. My wife is second. I got the West Ham tattoo on my right arm. It were a rough 10 years of my life. I had a rough life. I have been shot, stabbed, glassed, and I have been an X in my head. I always looked up to the gangsters like the Grace and the Richardsons. In the 1990s, I was the muscle for drug dealers. I worked as a bouncer and a bodyguard at various top clubs in London. Colton recalls that his wages increased from 50 a night to 300 a night. I worked also as security for boxer Nigel Ben. The boys and I were bodybuilders, addicted to steroids and cocaine. We loved the violence. The steroids made me a sex addict. I had much of girlfriends and cheated a lot. I lived like a beast. No one can stop me. I did not sleep for days. My heart was beating so fast from the drugs. I was an emotional roller coaster. I thought that the bullets were bound from my body. I took steroids six weeks on and six weeks off. My body was screaming for more and screaming for food. I always carrying baby food with me. I had four days of nosebleed for sniffing coke. I made a lot of money and threw it all away. But Tony invested money wisely. When I was out of money, he gave me 20 hundred. Honored for Christmas. He was my mate. We always look out for each other. He was making money from bodybuilding supplements. He drove Porsches and BMWs. I ran my own organization. It was said to have around 30 staff at its peak. He said to have been involved in the ecstasy trade. With the pills, he made most of the money. Among his personal friends was Tony Tucker, who also in the bouncer business and who dealt in various drugs. And his mate, Pat Tate, who was a psycho bodybuilder, steroids and coke junkie. He wanted to fight everyone. He and Tony were always raising each other with their Porsches, high on coke. Tony was murdered in Renaton, along with two of his mates, Pat Tate and Craig Wolf. They were murdered by Jack Wolves and Ricky Steele. They set the guys up to keep the drug for themselves. They were sentenced to life in jail. Leeds decided to get out of it. The scene. I was sad and paranoid, like I get killed next. I miss my friend Tony. He was my mate for five years and a lot enchantedly worked as a debt collector. The murders have made Colton a different man. A terrifying and tough man turned into a terrified person. Because he thought he would be next to be killed. It was a wake up call for him to make him realize that his parents and the family, even five years after the murders, he remained paranoid. He trusted no one kept itself away from people. My body was broken from drugs. I have the organs of a 60 year old man. Leeds now lives in Houghton, Essex, Essex, with his wife Anne. His life is portrayed in the 2017 movie Rise of the Foot Soldier, played by Richie Hollier, a part two from 2015. In 2003, he wrote a memoir about his criminal life entitled Muscle.